Hi, I'm Stefan, and in this next video, video series, we will explain everything about ESD protection. The topic for today is choosing ESD protection devices for very high data rates. Devices protecting against electrostatic discharge or ESD have traditionally been selected by the capacitance value regarding the suitability for data rates of the protected data lines. The idea behind this practice is that capacitance and system resistance will form a low-pass filter, which is attenuating high frequencies. However, this model is reaching its limitations at very high frequencies in the 10 GHz range. We would like to show that it is more helpful to rather look at scattering or S parameters when considering the radio frequency performance of ESD protection devices. In the first picture, we show the calculated insertion loss for pure capacitance as a dashed line. This calculation shows the expected behavior of a low-pass filter. Insertion loss is the magnitude of the scattering parameter S21. In the second step, we add the measurement of the insertion loss of a demonstrator. This is a solid line. It has the same capacitance at 10 GHz as the model calculation, but it is wire bonded, which introduces an inductance to the system. As we can clearly see, the insertion loss behavior of this wire bonded device is significantly different compared to the calculated capacitance at 10 GHz and above. The additional inductance of the bond wire is turning the ESD protection device into a bend stop filter. The takeaway of this comparison is that the inductance of an ESD protection device can impact the radio frequency performance notably. On top, it will also impact the clamping behavior for fast transients such as electrostatic discharges. Another important scattering parameter is return loss to show the amount of reflection by a device or a system. Return loss is described by the scattering parameter S11. Scattering parameters can be used to simulate the signal integrity of a given device or system, taking all device parasitics like capacitance or inductance into account. However, looking at scattering parameters offers also a first indication of the suitability of a protection device for a given application. Thank you for your interest. Thank you.